Hello everyone. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. How are you today? Good and I'm great. Okay. Thank you for coming to our class today. And then before we start study, let's pray together. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Rabbi zidni ilma warzuqni fahma. Amin ya rabbal alamin. Okay. Everyone, are you ready for study now? Good. If you ready, please open your book page corner 3 and then please open your book page. Mm. Yes, page 20. Now, last week uh, our lesson today is about at home. Now, in this unit you can understand about the kind of rooms at your home. Now, there is a bedroom, there is a bathroom, there is living room, dining room, kitchen. Now, okay? Now, in the living room, you can watching TV, and then in the bedroom, you can sleeping, and you can reading your uh, favorite book, and then in the bathroom, you can uh, having a shower, and then in the kitchen, you can uh, cook something your favorite food with your mother, with your family, and then uh, in the dining room, you can eat something you know, with your family. You can uh, have a lunch, dinner, and breakfast with your family. Okay, and then now. Nah, now please open your book page 20. Now page 20 in this unit you can understand about uh, use small room words and active presses and describe the location and activities of person. Okay, you can understand about uh, what are they doing now in this room. Okay, there is a balcony, basement, upstairs, downstairs and yeah there are four room nah. and then but uh, I want you we are sing together with me nah. okay wait a minute please I will play this video song okay where are you okay now let's sing together Pink Bang. Taking a shower in the bathroom. Daddy's cooking dinner in the kitchen. Living room, bathroom, and bathroom and kitchen. Room by room, room by room. Welcome to my house. Living room, bathroom, and bathroom and kitchen. Room by room, room by room, room by room by room. Okay, thank Thanks you for, for on listening and sing together with Mr. Risky. Okay, good. Now, in this song, you can understand about the kind of room at your home. Now, okay, back to your book. Now, okay, in this song, you can understand about uh, the kind of room. Uh, like, uh, there is a bedroom, bathroom, a kitchen, and living room. And then... Last week, nah. Last week, our lesson it's about uh, dialogue one. Nah, it's about uh, let's listen, read, and say. Okay. Page twenty. Dialogue. Listen, read, say. Is mom in the bedroom? No. She isn't. She's on the balcony. What's she doing? Is she watering the plants? Yes, she is. And she's watering the dog. Okay, now in this dialogue you can understand about uh, use is, is not, I mean, 
or you can say isn't. Nah, jadi penggunaan isn't di sini adalah uh, is plus not ini untuk kalimat negatif. Nah, contohnya dia adalah sebuah penegasan uh, untuk uh, tidak. Nah, seperti ini kita lihat is mom in the bedroom. Is mom in the bedroom? Nah, to be is. Di sini ada to be is baru subjek. Ketika to be berada di depan subjek. Nah, sebelum subjek mom di sini adalah subjek. Nah, itu dia menjadi kalimat interrogative sentence atau kalimat pertanyaan. Is mom in the bedroom? Nah, apakah ibumu ada di kamar? No, she isn't. She's on the balcony. No, she isn't. She's on the balcony. Tidak. Nah, jadi di sini dia sudah mengatakan tidak. She isn't. Nah, dia tegaskan lagi bahwa ibunya tidak ada di kamar, tetapi she's on the balcony. Dia sedang di balkon. Jadi, she isn't ini adalah to be is plus not untuk kalimat negatif. Nah, coba kita lihat lagi di sini. What's she doing? What's she doing? Apa yang dia lakukan? Is she watering the plants? Nah, what's she doing? Is she watering the plants? Nah, lihat di sini apa yang dia lakukan di sana? Apa yang ibumu lakukan di sana? Is she watering the plants? Kata ayahnya. Is di sini? To be is di sini di awal kalimat setelah subjek is she watering the plant dan itu menjadi kalimat interrogative sentence atau kalimat pertanyaan is she watering the plants apakah dia dia di sini adalah ibumu apakah ibumu sedang menyiram tanaman apakah ibumu menyiram tanaman yes she is and she's watering the dog Yes, she is, and she's watering the cat. Nah, on your book, the cat. On my book, the dog. Okay, nah, it's okay, never mind. Yes, she is, and she's watering the dog. Nah, jika kalian ingin membuat kalimat uh, positive sentence, nah kalian hilangkan notnya. Yes, di sini kan dia ayahnya bertanya, What's she doing? Apa yang ibumu lakukan? Is she watering the plants? Apakah ibumu menyiram tanaman? Nah, please look at this picture. Nah, his mother was watering the plants. Ya, ibunya sedang menyiram tanaman. Berarti benar kan? Ibunya sedang menyiram tanaman. Karena benar, dia menjawab dengan yes. She's, she is. Ya, she is di sini adalah penegasan ya ibu sedang menyiram tanaman gitu ya she is nah di dalam penegasan di sini she is bukan she is, bukan isn't ya bukan isn't nah tapi di sini karena dia kalimat positif ya yes, she is ibunya sedang menyiram tanaman and she's watering the dog and she's watering the cat ya oke okay? nah dan dia ibu juga menyir, menyiram uh, kucing nah kalau di sini ada Ibu juga menyiram anjingnya. Oke. Okay. Nah, and then don't forget for uh, use is not nah, on your sentence, ya. Yeah? Oke, okay, and then on your book page 20, practice one, listen, read, and say there are one, two, three, four. Nah, there are four room. Uh, at your home now there is balcony there is basement there is upstairs and downstairs uh, in the balcony you can water in the plants now in the basement you can listening to music watching TV and in upstairs now you can having a shower and then in downstairs you can reading a book And doing homework. Okay, let's listen, read, and say practice one. Page 20. Practice one. Listen, read, say. One. Balcony. Watering the plants. She is watering the plants on the balcony. Okay, the first, now, balcony. And then there is a uh, girls was watering the plants. Now, so if you want to make a sentence, a balcony and watering the plants. 
Now you can write or you can make or you can say she is, she is don't forget subject plus to be is she is watering the plants nah okay balcony watering the plants she is watering the plants dia sedang menyiram tanaman she is watering the plants in the balcony dia sedang menyiram tanaman di ya yeah, in the balcony balcony watering the plants okay and then next page 20 practice one listen read say one balcony watering the plants she is watering the plants on the balcony two basement listening to music watching tv he is listening to music in the basement she is watching tv in the basement three upstairs having a shower he is having a shower upstairs four downstairs reading a book doing homework she is reading a book downstairs he is doing homework downstairs nah okay thank you for listening uh practice one nah the first and the second basement nah basement in our local language is uh ruang bawah tanah Nah, usually in the basement there is living room. In the living room you can listening to music and watching TV. Nah, and then if you want to make a sentence, positive sentence, nah, basement and listening to music. Look at this picture. Nah, he is listening to music in the basement. He is listening to music in the basement. Dia mendengarkan musik di basement. And then there is a little girl. Nah, she is watching TV in the basement. She is watching TV in the basement. Nah, dia anak perempuan ini sedang menonton TV di basement. Nah, okay. So in the basement. Now in the basement there is living room. Now you can listen to music and watching TV there. Okay, good. And then next, uh, oh, there is upstairs. Upstairs in our local language is uh, lantai atas. Now if you want to uh, take a shower, now taking shower or having a shower or uh, taking a bath, now you can go to upstairs. Now. Upstairs, he is having a shower upstairs. He is having a shower upstairs. Dia mandi di lantai atas. Okay. And next, nah, number four, downstairs, reading a book and doing homework. Nah. Okay. Now nah, let's uh, make sentence with this word, downstairs and reading a book. She is reading a book downstairs. Nah, and then the second sentence is He is doing homework downstairs. Nah, in the downstairs you can reading a book and you can doing homework. Nah, okay, so thank you for listening. Nah, and then in this unit or uh, on practice one, now you can understand about a balcony basement upstairs and downstairs and then what are you doing there uh, in the balcony you can watering the plants now and then in the basement you can listening to music watching tv and then in the upstairs you can having a shower now and then in downstairs you can reading a book and doing homework okay don't forget about our lesson today okay i think enough thank you for coming to our class today we say hamdallah 
Alhamdulillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Bye-bye. See you next week.